Today, I'm going to be reviewing a new wireless reversing camera system I've got. It's a Halo View S7 AI intelligent camera system. As you can see by the pictures, it's supposed to detect people walking in your path and warn you. So let's unbox it and let's have a look. Use a manual. I'll have a read later, maybe. Another user manual for the actual monitor. Let's get the monitor out first. Very nice. Quite a big monitor. Very strong. Feels sturdy. Feels nice. Couple of antennas, the wiring, and the light on it. Very strange. Some push button thing, we shall have a look. Brackets, more brackets. And a power plug. Don't know what that's for, but we'll have a look. And there's the camera system. Quite a bulky one. Does feel nice, very strong. I think that's supposed to be a magnet on the back. It is supposed to be magnetic. And your display thing that connects to the window. It even comes with a sticky metal pad that you can put on your dash. I presume that's up to it. More metal pads. Right then. So, got a lot of bits to play with. First thing we need to do is start fitting it. First thing I need to do is charge up the battery in here. This has got a rechargeable built-in battery into the camera. On the side is a waterproof lug. Pop that out and then plug in the charger that is supplied. It's a mains charger. So plug it in. And as you can see, it's got charge in it. So what I'll do, I'll leave this on for a bit until they're all solid and then I can start fitting the monitor and then trying it all out. There is a couple of ways you can attach the monitor. You can use the bracket, a couple of screws on the side and attach it somewhere. It comes with a suction cup that you can put to your dash or your window fully adjustable this end is magnetic the back of this is metal and it secures like that and easy to remove but what i found that is if i use my mobile phone holder pull the end off pull the end off that that fits perfect onto there There you go. Now that's how I'm going to put it on. Very nice. Fitting the monitor is straightforward. I'm going to be using my mobile phone adapter with the magnetic mount fitted to it like I showed you earlier. You then get your monitor and stick it up. You get your cable, you route your cable around, you get your plug that connects to the cigarette lighter 
he's got an on and off button so you can have it off and back on as you see the monitor has now come on because the ignition is on it says no signal that's because the camera is not fitted so let's get the camera fitted and I'll show you all up and running next I've got to fit the camera but first I need to stick up this metal plate we have got screws in it if you want to screw it but I am just going to stick it up it comes with a double sided sticky pad already built in so all I've got to do is stick it up so I'll leave that for a few minutes let it set and then I'll put the camera up now we're going to fit the camera the camera comes with an on and off button you press for a few seconds you can see the LEDs coming on tell you that it is turned on if the monitor shuts down when you turn the ignition off or disconnect it this will power down after a few seconds so you don't need to remember to come around and do it but if you do want to come around and turn it off you press that and hold it for a few seconds and it will go off all right let's stick it up there you go good thing about being magnetic if you have a couple of different plates you can move them around and move the camera to where you want it you don't need it on the back you can put it on the front or even on the side it's a great camera a lot of ideas involved in this once the ignition is on press the power button it will come on with the view of the camera press the menu button and then you've got a list of all your things you can go into and adjust you've got your plus and your minus which will switch it across go to settings press ok gives you a list of things to do lot leds the time which camera you want menu to come back out and then if i push the minus it will go back go to the ai system press ok you can adjust the bleeps the zoom the trigger radar trigger the camera settings you can have up to four separate cameras on this you can do one and two split one and three camera split two and three camera split three and four camera split as two systems on one screen or you can use three cameras on one screen or four cameras on one screen this is also fitted with a backlight sensor because at the moment now it's starting to get dark and you can't see the lights down on this side so if I shut the blinds there you go the backlight comes up this is the first AI intelligent camera system I've come across and I do like it it works really really well it picks cars up and it picks people up you've also got this box that if anyone walks in or a car comes too close it warns you audio tone and this lights up red The AI system constantly monitors the road, warns you of any cars coming close to you. All vehicles, buses, lorries, cars will be marked with a green box. If a car comes close to you from behind, you will get an audio warning warning that the car has entered your box this tone will be constant until the vehicle leaves the box every time the vehicle enters the box you will constantly get a warning tone People are also monitored by the AI system and they are indicated with a yellow box.
as you see. Even people in wheelchairs can't escape the zone. If somebody walks across the zone, it will warn you the same as if a car was there. This way, if a person walks in the zone as you're reversing and you can't see them, you will get the audio tone. This is a really, really great safety feature. Don't want to be running people over, do we? So what do I think about the camera system? I think it's great. I like the idea that it's wireless. The camera is battery operated, so you just have to charge it and a monitor plugs into his cigarette lighter. What else do you need? Easy to fit, works great. Definitely worth looking at.